I recently mentioned in a video how NASA and FEMA are putting together this drill where they say they're going to try to simulate an impact scenario of an asteroid on our planet. And really, it's hard to simulate something like this because it is an asteroid striking the planet. I mean, the magnitude of such an event could be life-changing for everything. It could be an ELE type of an event depending on when, where, how things unfold. And when we go back in time, I believe that something of this nature is what happened around 12,500 years ago. Roughly, there's a window of a seven, 800 years where maybe two events happened and we're seeing signs of that now in Greenland. There's impact craters that now they can see under the ice and there's a massive one that's fresh that they say could tie right into this whole thing and what that does is it goes into a, a glacial meltdown type of scenario to where you would have a deluge on this planet and all of that all of our history being covered up anyway we're now looking at agencies here that we can hardly trust with anything you know never a straight answer fema all the deception through and through it's just the bottom line you have to dig deep to get any solid answers. And you can't get lost in all the rabbit holes. Are you hearing me? You can't get lost in debating and bickering over the smaller petty stuff that you just you stay lost in argument over. That's what they want you to do. So you have to be wise about it. Okay? When observing the whole thing here with Apophis... Does anyone remember what happened last time that they were watching Apophis and the last time it went by us? Some very peculiar things happened. As they had the whole world thinking about this 99942 Apophis, this is a 1,110 foot wide asteroid named after the Egyptian god of chaos. Well, out of nowhere, as everyone was watching this, a massive fireball comes streaking over the earth and explodes over Shelyabinsk, Russia, blowing out windows, damaging stuff, and it was the most powerful of our time to hit over a city. Now, they said they didn't see this coming because it came in from the direction of the sun. Really? So that's all it takes is for something to come in from the direction of the sun where basically they're blinded to it and it could be coming straight at earth. I don't, I don't think we should forget that because it sounds to me like a perfect excuse down the road for when something's right on our doorstep to say, oh, we didn't see it coming because of the same excuse. It's the only way they could say that is that if it came in like that and it just... Something doesn't set well with me with that because if it came in past the sun, the sun has gravitational pull on all these objects, on asteroids, on comets, on everything. You see it all the time. It pulls them toward it. So if objects are going just like you see on Soho 3 and 4 on their camera feeds up there, if there's objects zipping around space all over, how come they're not all being pulled toward the sun? I get it, some are further away and some are closer away. But still, anything that even comes into our solar system is pulled in by our sun. Even asteroids that come in from the far depths, they come in and do a loop. Comets come in and do a loop around our sun and then make their way out. If not, these objects are far, far away and to pick them up as large as they are, well, they have to be massive moving around all over the place out there so either way it goes there's something more going on out here and i believe it's an extraterrestrial highway i believe there's life everywhere i believe it is naive and self-centered to sit there and look up at these stars and, and think that you're the only life out there boy has someone lied to you and us all when you can see objects around the sun in broad daylight i've done it i've blocked out the sun i've shown the objects Flying around the sun, interacting with the sun. Go look at the damn footage. And a shout out to the people out there that get up off their tail and do something. You know who you are. There's several on Twitter that have taken and started to do this. And they've caught it on their own cameras. And they can't believe it. 
And now they're constantly pumping out videos on it. They're constantly seeing these things. They know how to capture them now. And a shout out to you. I love it. I love it that people are getting proactive, that more and more and more are catching this. And then when all this footage is starting to pile up, it shows proof that it's there. Just like these little rods that are going through the atmosphere that look like corkscrews and everything else, they are there. There are things here that they're never going to tell you about that are in our atmosphere. So while people are thinking that green men are going to show up in these little uh, spaceships, so to speak, the fallen ones are already here. They landed on Mount Hermon. It is who the world elite worship. Do you get it now? We've said it over and over again. By now, it should be no secret to those paying attention what's happening, why they give these objects, these names as well, like Apophis. And now it all derives back to the ancients and what they believe in here. Well, it just so happens that in talking about this god of chaos, they're saying that it's going to come very close to Earth on April 13th, 2029. This is right before 2030, the year before. It's a decade from now, 10 years from now. This is also astrologically, when you're looking at these charts, a very interesting moment in time. They like to cast certain things when Saturn enters Taurus. You best not forget these things because no one else out here seems to be talking about it or wants to tell you. They are using these tools to plan their events just like they did in September of 2001. And they will mirror them as above to so below. And you better pay attention to their tactic. I'm warning you. If you want to catch the window of the next big event, this is where you better be looking. I'm warning you. I've warned you over and over again. They're setting the stage for a big event. And it's going to have everything to do with space, theatrics, and they're going to take this to a level to where the movie will basically be put on in space. They now have the technology to blow things apart. They can fire rockets from satellites like Japan has shown. And it can look like asteroids raining down on the Earth. They can project things into the sky. And as I've also shown recently, here coming very soon, you're going to start to see billboards in subspace. Real deal. Within the next couple years. Where it's a KFC real big up in the sky over the whole country. In the sky. Way out there. Massive. And this is what they're, they're doing. So the theatrics that they can conduct. The trickery that they can pull. It, the stage is set. The stage is set. When the world leaders are all in this behind the curtain together. It's about these fallen ones. And the fallen ones are concerned about who's coming down the hall. They know there's a return. <laughs> there's a yin to every yang. And you know it. There's an opposite. There's a mirror to every atom. And if there's so much wickedness here, is there good inside of you? You should know it. You're not the only one. There is a king of goodness. Just like there is a king of wickedness. There is an equal. There is a counter. Do not forget it. Do not lose sight of it. They are coming. And I believe this Amuamua that went by, the scout team, was just that. And so many hints they've told you. But what have they painted them as? What have they hinted at it as it as? It's a possible alien civilization. Do you see what they're doing? It's begun. So the threat will be that someone or something is coming and they will shift the whole world to a new boogeyman. Not men in caves somewhere, to a new boogeyman that they can use on the whole world when the timing's right and the cards to be played because people quit buying the other BS. This is going to be the ultimate one. So it's going to go along with the timing of that. Look around you. It's when people really start to not buy any of this crap no more like it's already starting and they need a new plan to hoax over the masses globally and it's going to be this event they're doing it all of them are in on it 
This is a play on the minds of the masses. Don't you ever forget it. To me, Yeshua and all the righteous ones and the prophets are returning. They don't know the day or the hour, but they know they're coming. And they're getting ready. This is my belief. And the evil ones are going to shift this whole planet toward them. And don't forget, Yahshua said that that evil one is the ruler of this planet. He offered him all the kingdoms of it, and he denied them. So it shows he is the one in control of this domain. They are the fallen ones. They landed on Mount Hermon. Now you know why they want the Golan so bad. That is where Mount Hermon sits. It is a prized possession for them. Now you should see it. Let those that have the eyes to see, see. Let those that have the ear to hear, hear. I'll leave a link. This has been Dabu7. I love all of you. The time is now. Get ready.